Ouch, it is the pothole too big to believe. You are not on your side. Viewers know it as the pothole from hell, and it had been around for years. Back on April 4th, we started asking questions about why no one was fixing it. So whatever happened to that notorious pothole? Well, tonight, Marcelino Benito shows you in this not on your side problem solver. Driving to work used to be a nightmare, an obstacle course of sorts. Were you dodging that every day coming to work? I, I learned which ones were the bigger ones, and so I'd usually kind of swerve around them. But there was no swerving this pothole. The pothole from hell angered drivers we first spoke to back on April 4th. It's not a little hole. It's kind of like a Grand Canyon back here. I cuss every time I come through here. But now that driver has no reason to cuss. At least not about the road. The pothole from hell is now more like a paved road in heaven. Well, it's very smooth, that's for sure. Joe Miller, president of the Midvale Park Neighborhood Association, tells Nine on Your Side he's been pushing to fix this stretch of commerce court for years. Ten years, he says. But the pothole from hell just wouldn't go away. How did this come about? Can you give me a run through of how we finally got it, you know, covered and fixed? Well, thanks to Nine on Your Side, of course, you know, uh, you, you bring in light and getting everyone talking about something that uh, people on this part of town have known for a long, long time really helped. Nine on Your Side coverage was a piece of a larger puzzle to plug the potholes. The Midvale Park Commerce Center Association contributed $22,000 to $23,000. COPE, a business that used to sit right in front of the dreaded pothole, pitched in the $35,000 more needed to turn this into this. When, when they saw the problem, when they could really see the scope of, of, of what was going on there, people really took responsibility. You know, there's, there's some people that, that didn't, but, but all in all, a lot of people came together and did the right thing. The road was paved just this week, and drivers can already tell the difference. Well, at least for this section, I don't have to worry about potholes. As for Miller, he says the new road looks good, but there's still one more thing he's waiting for. And once they stripe it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be like a normal road as, as opposed to uh, a third world country type of road. You know, uh, roads in Fallujah were much better than roads in Midville Park for a stretch. Now Miller also credits Councilmember Rahina Romero for stepping up to the plate to help bring people together to get this done. He's hoping the city will now annex this stretch of road to avoid problems like this in the future. Oh, that'd be a good thing. Marcelino, any more work being done on some of the roads in that area, the ones that uh, Joe was talking about? Yeah, Jennifer, Midvale Park Road sits right next to Commerce Court. And if you've driven there, you know that's in pretty bad shape as well. But good news is crews will fix that one up too starting next week. That is good news. All right, Marcelino, thanks.